Africa. I'm from Ghana. I'm a Ghanaian. I need your help. Please, I beg you, come and help me. I need money to support my business. Well, Shalom, this is Kaswa Market, new market area. This is about one square mile of market like you've not seen in your life before. It's one of the biggest markets probably in Ghana, but they say that the one in Ica is bigger, but really, it, you know, if you can imagine like one square mile of this, it is absolutely huge. So uh, with my limited resources, you know, my uh, earphones and such, just going to be asking the question about the slave trade and um, see what kind of responses that we get. Should white people be punished? <laughs> Right, that's um, the tax has gone up five times this year. I think it's this year alone, it's gone up five times. And you know, the prices of things have doubled over the past couple of years, so they're saying that government should do something about uh, the, the price rise. Okay, so that's the first thing. Okay, this is the uh, yams that you get here, very much like potatoes, but you can see they're huge, they're bigger. So these will be costing maybe 20 CDs, which is about what, two pounds for about one pound. Less than that. Okay, it's a staple diet here. See, like, it's quite a few of them. You need money to establish your business. My business. And your business is what? The uh, Tom Brown. Tom Brown. The Tom Brown is, Tom is, is this one here. The, yeah. brown, the brown one. Yeah. And the Banku, is that correct? This is the Banku though, to make the Banku, right? Uh, bank. Bank. Banku. Banku. To say that, that Banku is like a, a food that you eat, it's like a dough. Uh, and then you eat it with fish and pepper and these things. This is the fish here. Let me see. This, this one be what kind of fish are those? Like salmon, salmon. which which salmon which is not one. like salmon as we know, but it's it's kind of like smoked fish in a way. But it's very nice. It's like a white fish. Is that correct? It's like white or red? Yeah, red fish. And the what? Kako. Where is the kako? Uh -huh. uh, what is this? What this is this? One is and it's for what? They use it to uh, 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 prepare soup. Prepare or soup. soup. Uh, or soup. It seems to have sand on it or something or what? Is it flour? Uh, uh, it's similar like a fish. Uh -huh. It's like a fish. Yeah. Similar like fish. Similar like a fish. So yeah. you, so you, okay, it's like what the tail, the head. I don't know where the head is. That's the head. Why I don't the know head. Where it is. I see the head. Oh, it's like a flat head. Uh, I see. Flat head. I like, see. It's actually like a fish. Uh -huh. The head. So the fish itself is like a. Like a. Have you seen? The, do you know the snake? Like, like a snake in a way. Like, like, it's almost like a catfish. No, 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 this one is fish. Okay. It's and you call you call it what? Capo. Kako. So this is the business, and uh, they've been telling us that you know the. I think the taxes have been going up. So what 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 can the government do to help? Or what can locally? What can they do to help traders? Would you say? What can the government do? Or what can the establishment do? So, I think what she's saying is that they need some uh, small money to buy extra things that they want to buy. Do you have enough money to buy these boats here? For example, but she's saying that they want to buy like a lot of books so they can. They don't. They just don't have the money to do it. As you see, the the market is quite affluent, and this is a very good job of building toothpaste. We have like uh, Rika, Charlie, Colgate, and Cola. 
president of the Republic of Nigeria. All the different parts. So you are Constance. I'm Pastor John. I'm Constance Nentichwa. All right. So I'm asking a question, just going around. How is your trade? Can the government help you small? Can anything be done, do you think, to help your business? Like, it's good. If, if, if the government help us, it's good. But as for Ghana, if we don't struggle, we will eat. The yeah. government is not helping us. They won't help us. Yeah, it's not helping us at all. Blind, frankly, we had the slave trade 100 years ago. Do you think that anyone should be punished for the slave trades that happened here in Ghana? Like, should there anything be done about that? Like, any retribution? You know, because a lot of people, they got caught. You know, they got, um, they're staying all around the world. So they lost their identities as Ghanaians. So do you think anything should be done about the, the slave trade? Any, anything like... A lot. A lot, a lot should be done. A lot should be done. But, but not, even me, that if even me that I'm here, if someone just come to come and pick me to, yes, I'll go even to clean. I'll go. So you're saying that okay? So the, the economic situation is is, is very bad. bad. Yeah. So, but not not everybody will say the same as you. But they will. But then most mostly them. So you're saying that most people you think yeah, they, if they, they had the opportunity that. to, if they had the opportunity to. Get work somewhere, get shelter, get fed yeah. in a house that they would choose that rather than that what you are doing right now. Like, okay, it's interesting. Yeah. It's interesting. But the, the question is that should the people be punished in the past for like the slave trade? Do you think that people should be punished for it? Or? No. no. All right. Okay. 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 I thank you for your time and may God bless you. I'll be around it. All right. You are coming to visit me? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, Monday, Sunday. 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 Come on Sunday, okay? You are very welcome, okay? Get what you get, wife. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. My name is Amma. Amma. You are Amma? Yes. That means what, what day were you born? Saturday, Saturday. Saturday, yes. The same as me, so I'm what? Amma, Amma, Amma. I, I'm Saturday as well, so what's my name? Kwame. I'm Kwame. Yes. And you are Ama. So, so I know in Ghana, the, you have this thing about birthdays, that the day you were born. So yes. It's ex exclusive to Ghana, I think. Yes. So I'm just asking the question, you know, that I'm from the UK, and there's a lot of things that the UK has done to countries, bad things that the government has done. One of the things being the slave trades. So... Yes, we are making video. I am making video. You go to my so. room. <laughs> you go to so my you, you, you can make you can be in the video later, okay? So <laughs> you go to look from UK. But you think that people should be held accountable for the slave trade? You understand? Or you have an opinion about it? Like, or you don't have any opinion? Mm. <laughs> All right. So me, like it's a natural thing. If, if 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 people have mistreated anybody, taken anybody away. So your opinion is that people should be held accountable for that slave trade. People should, and also these people just now that have lost their identity as Ghanaians. But so how could they, the government should be helping helping them? Is that correct? Yes. To locate them again to their. You know, like, for example, I know somebody that they did DNA test and they found they're from Kumasi. And the person is in Ghana, you understand? So there's many people that are dislodged from their families because of this slave trade. It's your opinion that the government should help to bring people together again. Do something, right? Yes. Yes. Hey. Amma, you are brave. Thank you, Amma. Okay. God bless you. So in days when I in Glasgow, I bought the barrels because people used to have few barrels and carry things around, which they still do here. 
got Foss and the Faros. The Faros in Glasgow, you know, they don't have probably a market left. Everything is run by corporations now. Still, people here are still uh, working hard just to make a living. And, uh, yeah. So, I think, you think this type of life is better? The struggle is better than well, the life maybe in the UK at the moment. Certain cities are very dependent on the government, they're very dependent on corporations to feed them and clothe them. Whereas, you know, the government is less, a lot less uh, involvement here. But the struggle is real, you know. It's like real life. They're at the bars. <laughs> So how are you? What's your name? Jasmine. Jasmine. Hallelujah. Hello, madam. How are you? Preaching the word of God. We thank God. Eh? I Okay, Linda. So, uh, but here, like the way the market has gone, wow. But um, you're a faithful preacher of the Word of God, Linda, right? Yes. One of the many preachers around Kaswa. So I was asking the, the question about slavery, and um, it happened in the past. And uh, so we're asking, should there be any punishment or retribution to the people that did the slavery? And if she's saying that there should be some type of punishment. That, that, does she know who is responsible for slavery like in the UK or who is responsible? So she says she's saying that can you translate it to English or you can't translate to English? <laughs> I believe she's saying there should be some type of uh, retribution or punishment, is that correct? For the people responsible for doing the slave trade. Is that correct? She's in agreement. Are you also in agreement? There should be some type of, let's say, retribution. Like people who've been involved in that trade, and they, you know, they've uh, lost things. So they, they should be given something back or they should be relocated. So the punishment should be what? What should be the punishment? God will punish. God will punish them. Yeah, Okay. So God, you leave, you leave the punishment to God. That's very wise. Very wise indeed. Very, very good. All right. All right. It's good. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. I'm sorry, what? Oh, okay. I thought you wanted to say something or what? All right. Come and go. All right. So, brother, Pastor Eben. Pastor Ebenezer. Ebenezer. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I'm asking a question about the, the past things in Ghana, about the UK. They did the slave trade, these things. I understand that a lot, many things were done wrongly. Yes. People were hurt. Yes. You see, so I'm just asking the question: uh, Should there be punishment? Who should be punished? What should the punishment be? Or could any, can anything be done to, to, to change that aspect in the past? Let, let, uh, let me explain something. You make it clear. All right. Uh, as far as you have seen Christians, all Amen. things have passed away. Right. We, should, we should become a born again. You get me? All right. When we are coming born again, 
we should accept God as a personal savior. Uh -huh. When you are when you are doing your brother something is not in enough or it's not good, you need yes. God to know no, whatever that you are doing is not good. We should stop it. So what, what we want to do, we want to pray for the people that should, maybe were in the slave repent. trade. We should repent. We should the repent. ones who are involved, they should repent. repent. Yeah. Come to God and repent. Yeah. Otherwise, God yeah, will punish them. them. Yeah. God will punish them. Yeah. Yeah. And as for the people, the slave people who were, they were set free, but then they don't have a country again. Maybe some of them come back to Ghana. We pray for them. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. Amen. May God bless you. Anything else that you want to share with us today? Amen. May God bless you. We'll share Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. All right. <laughs> May God be with you. Amen. All right. <laughs> All right. We're with Lizzie and um, we just asked any question about, you know, the slave trade and, um, you know, should there anything be done? Can there anything be done uh, for the ones who are doing the trade? And also, this, the people who are involved as slaves, can, can we help them at all? Can the governments help them? So that's the question. I'm talking this. Uh, probably we have to help them, but we should forget about the money and forgive and forget. If you can't forgive, you can't live life. So just forgive and have help for them, that would be fine. We can help them. But for looking for vengeance or for punishing them, I don't think so far we are Christians and we have to forgive and forgive. Very, very big. All right. Thank you so much. So Elizabeth was just saying um, about the government here in Ghana as well, the locations here. And she was just saying that there's a committee that the government could set up to help people. But she's concerned that in the past, and you know we've seen records of it before that uh, money has been made available and then it just disappears you know so uh, we know that this goes on and even it goes on in the uk it goes on in my country as well so uh yeah so the opinion here again is um forgive and, for, and forget but uh try to help try to help each other the governments are not really doing that much so to conclude today, the consensus is about forgiving and forgetting. Um, some people have ideas that the government could help. They could maybe uh, hold certain people accountable um, for these past sins and uh, maybe to help those ex-slaves um, to locate their, you know, where they were from and maybe help relocate them. If that, if that would help them at all. Um, but in conclusion, just an observation, is people who help people, and governments are always, uh, you know, herding people. They're the, the false shepherds or the hirelings or whatever you want to call them. And, uh, you know, there was a time when Africa actually relied on the European slave trade for its economic growth. And uh, as you saw, one of the ladies there was concluding that a lot of um, individuals would go if there was work steady job they can have a nice place to stay and a place to um, feed and uh, have a family perhaps then that would be a blessing to them um, because the struggle here uh, in the land is uh, too great for people you know that um, mostly there's no work for the, the men and uh, a lot of the ladies are trading there in the markets but uh, the standard of life is not high, and uh, the life is very, very hard. So that's really the consensus in Ghana. You know, the, the past few years, uh, everything's been doubled and tripled in price. And so, uh, yeah, in conclusion, that there, I think all Christians, the new market areas, mostly Christians in Kaswa, although Kaswa is originally a Muslim town, and the old market is mostly Muslim. Um, we were spe speaking to Christians today, um, and I think the consensus might be similar, um, but we might go to the, the Muslim market the next time and get what their opinions are, because we know that in Islam, you know, slavery today is actually the highest it's ever been.